Hello, it's Helen here from HelenLendop.com. Now, over the last six months, as I sit here in October 2020, I think we can all say we've become far more familiar with tools like Zoom than we ever thought possible. And that's because we've just had to move so many of our normal activities online. And that's great. I mean, for somebody who, who loves her tech, um, it's fantastic to see so many people um, really embracing these technologies. I, I love it. But the problem is that sometimes you want to charge for these live events. And um, that's a little more tricky than just simply uh, loading up Zoom and starting a meeting and sending out the dates and off you go. So I thought it'd be useful to share a fairly simple way of taking payment for an online event using a tool such as Zoom. Zoom is probably the most common one um, and a tool called Eventbrite. Um, so for this, you don't even need your own website. You don't need to worry about linking your own website to Zoom with a series of plugins or anything like that. You just need Eventbrite and whatever tool you're going to be using to actually deliver that online event. So. I am in Eventbrite at the moment. That's eventbrite.co.uk for me here in the UK. Uh, you'll just need to create an Eventbrite account if you don't have one. Um, it's free. The way Eventbrite pays for itself is by taking a percentage off um, the tickets that you sell. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's no upfront charge for, for Eventbrite anyway, just to get started with it. So I'm going to create myself an event. So let's put a title in. and a category and a type. Uh, so this will be training, but you can pick whatever you like. Um, you can put tags in to make it more likely that people will find your event. Um, it's gonna be an online event because obviously Eventbrite is uh, designed for real in-person events as well as online events. Now let's put in the date and time. That works fine for me, obviously put in the correct date and time for your actual event. Save and continue. This is the, the main page that we're setting up here for the event itself. So you can have an image. You want obviously the description to make people want to come to your event. And uh, there we go, that's all we need. There are a whole load of settings you can set up for Eventbrite. So um, you can have a number of tickets at different prices if you want to. Um, say you wanted a standard ticket and maybe a student ticket, you can do that. So it's worth exploring those. I'm not going to go into that in too much depth now because there will be advice on the Eventbrite site on how to do that. But one thing that people do miss and aren't aware of is this link to Zoom and other platforms. And for that, you go to online event page. And here we go. So you can connect Zoom. Um, you can set up a meeting and you can make it so that whenever anybody buys a ticket on Eventbrite for this particular Eventbrite event, it will register them in the Zoom meeting. Um, now, you can also use these other platforms as well. Um, YouTube Live would be a good one. So you can sell uh, tickets to your YouTube Live. And so you would just click on the relevant one of those. Uh, and then it will take you through a series of steps to uh, set all that up. So just a short one from me this time. I have lots more videos on my channel about streamlining your sales and marketing using technology in your small business. So do check those out or please do subscribe to my channel. That's all for now. See you again soon. Bye.